Vifly are a very creative company and I'm a massive fan of their products. They seem to concentrate on quite niche products that are different to what everyone else is doing but are incredibly useful and I've reviewed most of them on this channel. And when they bring out something new, it always sparks my interest. And they've just released a couple of new products that are, yet again, very interesting. So we've got the Vifly strobe, which is an anti-collision strobe for drones with a few extras the competition has missed. And this is the GPS Mate. It's a clever solution to getting a faster satellite fix when you're using a GPS module for Betaflight or iNav. Hello and welcome to the Worldly Black channel. First off is the strobe. At first glance, it's nothing special. There's loads of anti-collision drone strobes, but as you come to expect with Vifly, they thought about it a little bit harder. This uses five 3 watt high intensity LEDs that give you the option of white, green or red with different flash modes all in this one small package and this only weighs 6 grams and it includes a 160 milliamp hour battery to keep the LEDs working for up to 4 hours. You just use this included USB lead to charge it up, it takes about an hour. Now thoughtfully they have provided some of these 3M dual lock Velcro pads so you can quickly fix it to your Mavic or whatever and you're legal to fly at night because these are visible up to three plus miles away. I have turned this on before just to check things. Um, turning it on is this button here, you just press and hold it so watch out, it's unbelievably bright. Way! <laughs> The cameras probably compensate for that, but that's incredibly bright. Okay, so we've got three white. I can't even look at that. If you press the button again, it goes to solid white. I'm doing this with my eyes shut. Oh, that's flashing slowly. Press it again, it's solid white. Press it again, we've got flashing red. Press it again, God blimey, so bright! <laughs> It's slow flashing red, and we've got solid red. Press it again, we've got flashing green. Oh, I'm seeing spots in front of my eyes. Press it again, we've got slow flashing green. Can't even look at this. Press it again, we've got solid green. And we're back to where we started. You just long press the button to turn it off. Oh, I'm having trouble seeing. I don't know what that's going to look like on this camera, but that is unbelievably bright. So you get this little instruction manual with it, which tells you all the modes, which I can't read now. And this is priced at $15 and that's around 11 pounds. And that's fantastic value for money. Next up is the GPS mate. This is a clever solution to a really, really annoying problem. If you've ever used a GPS module on your drone for rescue mode in beta flight or position hold and waypoints in iNav, you know just how irritating it is waiting for the GPS to acquire enough satellites to fly. When you first power up the GPS module, it needs to get a fix, and this takes time. It's got to search for satellites, by scanning and until it's found enough for a good fix you can't take off and overriding this isn't exactly a sensible thing to do. This GPS so-called cold start can take a few minutes but in some locations I fly it takes ages so 10 minutes is not unusual and all the time you're sitting on the ground everything's getting hot well mainly the VTX especially if it's a DJI air unit or a Cadex Vista. And when you've got a fix and you fly around and land, you're going to have to go through all that again after you've plugged in a new flight battery. This GPS mate sits between the flight controller, as you can see on this diagram, and the GPS module. And it's a sort of pass through for all the power connections and signals. As you can see, it's got its own internal battery and some clever power switching, which means that when the flight controller is powered down when you change your flight battery, the GPS mate keeps the GPS module 
turned on, keeps it alive. And that means it doesn't have to cold start again. And this is better than the warm start that's possible with some expensive GPS modules. These modules remember the last satellite positions in EEPROM, but this only gives the GPS a hint where the satellites are. It still has to do a search, albeit it's quicker than a cold start, it's sort of a warm start. But this GPS mate keeps the GPS module powered on all the time. And it's charged, this battery here is charged by the main flight battery. And it stays on and keeps the GPS module on until you turn it off with this little switch on the side here. And this is a fantastically useful and elegant solution to a really annoying feature of GPS enabled drones. And there's more. The eagle eyed amongst you may have spotted, there's a buzzer down here. They've included the ViFly Finder 2 lost drone buzzer functionality in this as well. And the ViFly Finder 2 is the only drone finder I use these days because it works 100% of the time. It works as a standalone buzzer and because it's got its own internal battery, like it has on here, it buzzes away even if the main flight battery is ejected or is totally dead. Now I've reviewed the Finder 2 before on the channel, so check out the links below for a full explanation of how it works. But all you really need to know is it will keep going for up to four hours, which is plenty of time to find your lost quad. And this comes with all the necessary wiring and cables, and there's a little piece of heat shrink there. And this is so small and light, you won't have too much trouble finding a place to fix it. And the price on this, well, it's a remarkable $15, again, around £11, which is awesome value for money. Fantastic work, Vifly. These really are very clever products that have been very well thought out. Just go and buy some and make your FPV life a lot, lot easier. As always, thanks for watching. And if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you want to see more like this, remember to subscribe, hit the bell down here when you see it to get notified when I post new content. And I'll see you next time.